a common man who is traveling on a road which is destroyed he would want the road to be made not to be made by which company no political public representative which has to go to the people to get their votes would ever want to deliberately uh, not carry out development activities that world over water is a commodity you go to uae water is expensive when a private sector company wants to charge you money they will pay but in karachi unfortunately our concept is that we will not pay for water when the government is charging you if you start replacing the entire sewerage network of the city the entire city would you know turn into shambles the way and manner our population is growing the way and manner people are coming to karachi i fear that even with these new interventions there might be a situation where there will not be adequate water available god forbid there might be a time when we don't have sufficient rainfall to fill our kinjar or hub dam and then we will be exposed to another reality of life that there will not be sweet enough sweet water available for this the solution lies in going towards the ocean going towards the sea and have water desalination plants in the city of karachi the water that we get from indus from kinjar from hub is sold for 34 paisas by the karachi and water service board the water that will be supplied by way of desalination will be a lot more expensive roughly you know the energy component keeps changing but roughly when the last time i worked on it this is before the inflation had stepped in a uh, per gallon cost of uh water was approximately a rupee and 50 pesos 55 pesos so that's three times the price that the water and sewerage board is currently charging but it is less than what the tankers charge a tanker right now charges you 2 rupees per gallon so to my mind i feel this is a solution you get a private company utilize its ex- expertise for uh, desalination it uses the reverse osmosis technology to make sea water sweet and fit for human uh, consumption but the cost is something that the bureaucrats fear for that eventually nab will start probing them that a cheaper facility was available why did you opt for the more expensive technology why didn't you bring in the infrastructure to bring more water from kinjar so that scares them that creates problems number 1 number 2 the general psyche of people that when a private sector company wants to charge you money they will pay so when a private water supply company not taking any name so that there is no issue when they want to supply a water bottle to you you would be ready and willing to pay them 10 rupees 15 rupees 20 rupees for that 250 ml bottle but when the state provides you with that facility you become reluctant to make that payment and if let's say the payment does not happen again the same issue that we have in energy of circular debt may crop up in this area as well that world over water is a commodity you go to uae water is expensive you you go to european countries which are rich in terms of rain they also charge a uh, sufficient amount of money for the supply of water but in karachi unfortunately our concept is that we will not pay for water when the government is charging you K4 and the new line from Hub Dam will mitigate water needs moving forward water recycling will again be a uh, important resource for us to mitigate our water needs but most importantly we need to shift our minds towards uh, technology and we need to utilize uh, the ocean that we have the sea that we have and go towards desalination if we are to solve our uh, water needs in a sustainable manner You see, Karachi is not a new city; it's an old city. When Karachi was developed, that's when the water lines and the sewerage lines were put in, the roads were built, parking areas were developed. So, areas were developed, keeping in mind the number of people who would live in those areas. Unfortunately, in 2003, when Mr. Nemutullah was the city nazim, he came up with the concept of commercializing residential areas. As a result, he declared certain areas of the city of Karachi as commercial. and the result was the area where infrastructure was laid keeping in mind 
that it will be a residential area one house two houses would be on that 1000 yard plot two families or three families would live over there because of that commercialization policy that house has been destroyed and new buildings have been built where now 200 families are living 250 families are living the result is that the sewerage network has collapsed the water system has collapsed and same goes for our parking issues that's the root of our problems right now and unfortunately when nemutullah commercialized and certain right minding right minded members of the society went to court to challenge the commercialization policy the courts at that point of time approved the commercialization policy of nemutullah sahab then mustafa kamal sahab commercialized certain areas of the city of karachi so that's the major problem that we face right now immediate solution is it requires heavy investment and if you start replacing the entire sewerage network of the city the entire city would you know turn into shambles so it has to be done in a planned but systematic manner it will be gradual as commercialization took should take place but for that we need to develop new areas areas which are not planned for a residence but barren pieces of land and we can today decide that okay in the next 20 years this is going to be the commercial hub of the city of karachi let's lay the infrastructure the water lines the sewerage lines the parking areas in that manner so that can uh, be a solution uh, for our future no political public representative which has to go to the people to get their votes would ever want to deliberately uh, not carry out development activities unfortunately what happens is there are a number of issues first issue let's say is paucity of funds at times the provincial government does not have adequate funds available at times the federal government does not had have adequate funds at times the local government does not have adequate funds so that's one area where i feel uh, it becomes a problem secondly um, i think a lot of good decision making process has become stalled because of the various regulatory checks that we have in the system of governance for example you want to build a road you have to follow a procedure which is provided in the public procurement rules now it's a very longish procedure you go to a developed country in the world the government decides we want to build this road they start working in pakistan what we need to do is we need to issue an advertisement in the newspaper procurement takes place which is again time consuming then once the entire process is complete there are 100 aspirants for that work work will only go to one person the 99 aspirants then allege that some sort of you know uh, influence has been used to favor this company then some of those people complain to nab some go to fia some go to anti corruption some go to the courts the process the 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 process stops and it takes a very long time to get rid of these inquiries these interventions or the court stay orders which leads to a problem and i'll give you a very small example if in december 2022 the government decides to build a flyover the assessment will be based on the price of steel in 2022 the price of cement in 2022 the cost of labor in 2022 let's say the stay order or the inquiry continues for 6 months and the work does not happen for 6 months 6 months later what will happen the price of steel will be different cost of labor will be different price of cement matti bajri water everything going to change the cost changes so we need to somehow find quicker ways of getting things done and someone might allege that you know this shortish procedure is probably favorable to certain companies or certain entities it might be the case but one has to look at the larger perspective of the society a common man who is traveling on a road which is destroyed he would want the road to be made not to be made by which company he would want the road to be made and to be made of good quality right so perhaps the priority has to be to getting things done i think projects which continue for 3 years are a problem this needs to be changed to let's say a period of 1 year so that the impact of inflation the impact of change of prices uh, does not hit the project in such a large manner now the impact the result would be things would happen fast but lesser things would happen 
right now if i am the development minister i would say that the government has initiated 100 schemes which will complete in 3 years now if i am to revisit this strategy it would mean that the government will complete 40 projects in one year only so 40 does not sound nice 100 sounds nicer so because we are optics driven people like bigger numbers we end up saying that so perhaps i think that's another area where we need to revisit our development strategy i feel in my view in today's day and age uh, uh, this will be most beneficial to the people of uh, our country my message is uh, pretty simple uh, love your country it is your country and no one else will come and improve this country it is we the people who are living here who have to sort things out and improve things if we won't do it nobody else will do it for us so i hope i hope and pray that uh, we develop some faith in the country where we've been born we've been brought up and we end up doing things for the betterment of our beloved pakistan